Environmental change, human errors, and sheer recklessness have led to a number of recent extinctions. In fact, that maple tree in your yard might once have held passenger pigeons. With preserved DNA and genetic restoration technology, it's now possible that some of these lost species may be resurrected. While ethical concerns about playing God have been raised, we play devil every day by eliminating these species in the first place, and restoring their role in nature may be a very viable option. In the video today, 10 Candidates for Genetic Resurrection Number 10. Passenger Pigeon Upon the arrival of European settlers in North America, the passenger pigeon was the most abundant bird species on Earth. It inhabited the thick, deciduous forests of eastern North America. The stunning pink and blue bird migrated between feeding sites in such large flocks that the sun was said to be blotted out by the living clouds. Disaster struck when market hunting decimated the flocks, and despite some attempts to legislate protection, the passenger pigeon dwindled until the last specimen, a captive, died in 1914. With preserved DNA available from laboratory and museum specimens, a team project presented at the 2013 TEDx Industrial Conference aims to recreate the passenger pigeon through genetic sequencing using the closely related band-tailed pigeon as a surrogate carrier. Regrowth of forests and hunting regulations offer a friendlier environment for the birds should they be brought back. Number 9. Quagga The quagga, or horse tiger, was an equine mix of horse and zebra characteristics. Native to South Africa, the quagga went extinct following overhunting in the late 1800s. The brown color with limited frontal stripes suggests it was either the ancestor of the fully striped zebra or a more recently developed descendant that was in the process of losing its stripes and returning to a horse-like form. Due to the close relationship of this wild horse subspecies to the plain zebra, efforts have been made to re-evolve them through selective breeding. Incredibly, the work has met with a measure of success, and some scientists believe the quagga is already partially restored. Several animals with intermediated coloration have been released into parks. Number 8. New Zealand Queer The mountain forests of New Zealand once home to a mysterious and exceedingly unusual black songbird known as the queer. These wattle birds exhibited a bizarre and unparalleled form of sexual dimorphism. Male queer would break open rotting logs with their short, stout bill, allowing the female to insert her long, scythe-like beak in to extract grubs. Queer went extinct in the early 19th century as a result of forest loss and overhunting for museum specimens. If DNA of sufficient quality can be extracted from the bones in the museum specimens, the future possibility that this bird could be cloned remains. Number 7. Carolina Parakeet The Carolina Parakeet was the only parrot native to Canada and the United States. It's also one of history's most recent extinctions and one of the most mysterious, tragic, and ecologically damaging. Inhabiting the same forests as passenger pigeons, the parrot was persecuted by landowners who disliked its fondness for fruit crops. Others shot them for feathers to adorn hats, and research suggests that chicken viruses may have killed many of them off. The last one died in 1916 in captivity. Fortunately, preserved DNA from remaining specimens may allow the northern parrots to be reconstructed for its eventual release back into forests. The parrots have a vital role in dispersing fruit and nut tree seeds and would likely restore habitat for other birds. Number 6. Auroch When we look at a domestic cow, drink milk, or eat beef, we likely never realize that we're benefiting from an extinct species. While buffalo bite and yak hold on and in some cases thrive in wild populations, the auroch, or wild cow, is now extinct. Once ranging across Eurasia, numerous individuals were domesticated and selectively bred into different strains of cattle, while hunting and land use change left no individuals remaining in the wild. Coupled with the changes of domestication, the auroch was lost. As the domestic subspecies, cows thrive worldwide, and an approach based on back-crossing and selective breeding for ancestral traits is proposed as a way to restore this species. Release of aurochs into Europe's forests would increase wildlife habitat and forest health benefits that have been lost until now. Number 5. Woolly Mammoth Unlike most recent extinctions, the woolly mammoth remains a bit of a mystery. Suitable habitats remain in Siberian tundra regions where the bodies of mammoths are still being found preserved in the permafrost. The conditions that preserve the bodies have also preserved the DNA sequences of this giant mammal rather effectively, giving scientists the opportunity to clone mammoths using their closest living relative, the Asian elephant. It's suspected that overhunting may have wiped out the woolly mammoth rather than a simple environmental change. The musk ox produces a similar woolly coat and exists very well in the Arctic tundra to this very day. As a smaller animal with faster reproductive rates, they were likely better able to withstand hunting pressures. Number 4. Woolly Rhinoceros 
dangerous. Nature is full of ecologically associated species. Just as African grasslands and Asian rainforests are home to both elephant and rhinoceros species, the woolly mammoth shared its tundra habitat with the enormous woolly rhinoceros. Measuring as large as a medium-sized truck, this shaggy giant uprooted plants and defended its territory with an unusually long horn and was extremely well known to ancient tribes. Pictures of woolly rhinoceroses have appeared in cave paintings in France, suggesting it was often hunted, perhaps excessively. The same conditions allowing mammoth DNA to be preserved have also provided genetically viable woolly rhinoceros carcasses. There are proposals to currently resurrect both of these species. Number 3. Pyrenean Ibex The extinction of the Pyrenean Ibex in the Mediterranean mountains was one of the most senseless extinctions of all, and considering that it occurred in the year 2000, it's one of the most recent. However, the recentness collided with the development of cloning technology, allowing this species to become living proof that extinct species can be resurrected through genetic restoration procedures. In 2003, a live Pyrenean ibex was born and lived briefly before dying of lung failure, an unfortunate defect that could likely be avoided in future breeding. Although this was a setback, it's amazing that the animal was recreated and had only one major physiological problem. With just a few refinements and restoration of project funding, this wild relative of Dolly the sheep could become the first recreated mammal. There are challenges in reintroducing species, thanks to the need to introduce culture, learned behavior, and social structures. Number 2. Gastric Brooding Frog In the late 20th century, a plague of exotic spores known as chytrid fungus spread as a result of the accidental release of non-native toads into Australia. The disease hit numerous amphibian populations hard and led to the sudden extinction of Northern Australia's gastric brooding frog in 1983. Using specimens preserved in freezers since 1970, a team of conservation geneticists from the University of New South Wales recently succeeded in replicating tree frog embryos with genetic material from the gastric brooder. Although the embryos only live for a few days, this freak of nature, known for hatching its eggs by swallowing them, is close to becoming the first ever animal to be genetically restored. Were the species to come back, root causes such as habitat degradation must be addressed. Number 1. Giant Ground Sloth Huge, slow-moving, and exceedingly unusual, the giant ground sloth inhabited the New World until about 10,000 years ago. The enormous relative of the familiar tree sloth walked in a quadrupedal manner but often reared up on their massive hind legs to forage on tree leaves. Weighing up to 4 tons and reaching 20 feet in length, giant tree sloths are only surpassed by modern elephants in size, and they played an essential role in breaking up continuous forest tracts and allowing birds and small mammals to access newly created habitats. In one of the stranger twists of genetic resurrection, scientists have indicated that preserved fossil dung from the huge animals may contain sufficient DNA information to reconstruct their genome and return them to the forest ecosystems they once presided over. The key challenge would be finding a suitable surrogate parent for this large species. So I really hope you found that video interesting. If you did, smash that like button below. Do not forget to subscribe. We've got brand new videos just like this every day of the week. When you're subscribing, if you hit that bell, you will find out when those new videos come out, so please go ahead and do that. Also, why not check out another channel I do? It's a new channel. It's called Geographics. It's a geography-based thing. You can find out more about it by clicking the link in the description below. And as always, thank you for watching.